Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got another unboxing video. Now this is part of my new series called The Alternative Investments. And basically I've been buying toys from the 90s, unboxing them, repackaging them, and then we'll revisit them in around about five years time. And we'll see if they've gone up in value, down in value, or whether they've stayed the same. So I've already started unboxing this. I thought it was something else. So I've already taken the tape off. So we don't need a knife for this first part. I'm going to have to adjust the camera, I think, a couple of times because I'm filming in a different location today. So you can see, quite nicely packaged. We've got this separate box in here. So we'll take that out and put that to one side. We've got this bit of cardboard on top. And then we have the original box really nicely preserved as well in a bit of like a uh, bag, kind of zip tight, lock tight bag type thing. So that's really cool. So that's the original packaging for the Mighty Max Blasts Magus. Now this is one of my favorite sets. This alongside Dragon Island are the two of my favorite Mighty Max sets. So really, really pleased that I've got them both in complete sets and with the boxes as well. Because you don't often see these boxes now because these toys are very, very old. We're talking like 20 years old. So just to have the box is really cool. Let's just move this out of the way and we'll adjust the camera. So we have got, like I said, we've got the complete box here, really, really well preserved in this bag, which is nice to see. I'm actually going to keep it in this bag because that's really going to protect it. You can see the artwork on these. You get like a little comic strip on the front. These are the characters. And if I just pan up, you can see the full play set there. So yeah, really, really cool designs on the box. Now, this is where the star of the show will be. It's actually quite light, so I hope, I hope it's in there. This is where I do need the knife. So where did I put the knife? There we go. So let's get straight into it. Really nicely packaged. I like the fact they've boxed it up separately because when I brought the Dragon Island, that came with the the box as well. But the actual Mighty Max was in the box, and the box was like a bit tattered. Where it's nice that they've boxed it up separately. And you can see the instruction. Oh, that's good. So they've actually put all the pieces separate as well. So you can see all the pieces are there. And the good thing about when you get these sets, any sets really is if you've got like the actual original box, you can actually see exactly what's meant to be in it. So if you look on there, on the box, it tells you one, two, three, four, five characters. And then you can actually double check that you've got all the right characters. So one, two, three, four, five, all in there. So you can see straight away, it's not missing any pieces. So that's really cool. The fact they've been packaged separately now you can tell this is someone that appreciated this was going to be worth some money in the future the way that they've they've sent it and the way it's been packaged and protected now just before we get this out i will get the spreadsheet up to tell you how much i paid for this so this was one of the more expensive pieces this cost me £55.99p in total, and that's including delivery. So the actual item was £55. Uh, hang on a minute. The actual item was, no, sorry. The actual item was £50, and the £5.99 was delivery. So quite expensive piece, but absolute iconic piece. For those of you that remember Mighty Max, this was one of the best play sets out there. Move that out of the way. So you can see it's got the missile as well that goes in there. Look at that. Really, really cool set. 
it's a lot smaller than I remember, I suppose, because when I had this when I was a child, it was, obviously I was smaller as well, so it felt bigger. But such a, a cool piece, such good detail. This is actually really good lighting to really appreciate all the paintwork and everything. You've got the Mighty Max logo on there. Really, really like a work of art, really. So these knees, these actually open. So you can see that actually opens down. And if we get these pieces out from this bag, you'll see that every piece has a place. So I'm pretty sure the motorbike goes in the leg, in the knee, like that. Have I got that right? Or is that a different one that goes in that knee? There you go. So that goes in there and that closes. And then this one also opens. And that's got space for one of the other ones. I'm going to wing it now because I can't remember what, what one goes where. But let's say he goes in there. And then this also opens. So this is his arm. This comes out separately. It's crazy how I remember. Remember this. And this is like a claw. So that can be used as a separate toy as well. And that's got a space on there for Mighty Max to go on. So, oh, fired off. At least we know that still works. So we've got the Mighty Max space on here. Which way does he go? Like that. So really cool. So all these toys are kind of interchangeable and they all come off and you can use them individually as separate pieces as well so that's that arm there and then this arm also opens so you could use that actual missile separately as a toy if you wanted to so that's pretty cool and then this also opens so this comes down you've got space there again for mighty max to stand if you want him to stand on the top you can just go on there like that and then this comes down it's probably going to shoot me in the face so this comes down there's another missiles here as well i think they're activated from the back because this back bit also comes down this also opens this is like a little trapdoor type scenario here you can look at the detail look at the paintwork and the stickers and the detail it's so good that goes down there and then you can see if I push these two down these will go flying off but that also comes out as well if you want to use that as a separate toy so this also detaches so you can use that separately as well so they still work which is great and then this bit comes up and then this bit here also comes out. So I think it just slides forward. There we go. So this is like a flying bit that comes out as well. This whizzes around. I'm pretty sure this little dude fits in there. And then this can whiz around. And that again is a separate standalone toy, which is really cool. And then again, you can see all the detail in there, the paintwork. All the stickers, really, really incredible, these sets. Now you've got a lizard on the top there. So, yeah, you've literally got a whole play set. And then when you put it all together, you've got, like, a, a character at the same time. So, really, really cool. Like I said, this is one of my top two Mighty Max up there with Dragon Island. Let me know in the comments section which one you think is the best. I'll leave a link to the video of the Dragon Island one in the description if you haven't seen that already. Like I said, I'm going to wrap this up now, put it away into storage and we'll revisit it in five years time and we'll see whether we've made money, lost money or whether it stayed the same. So really cool set. Like I said, you've got every bit, every, all the pieces are here as well. So yeah, really cool to have the complete set. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching as always. I'll leave a link to the playlist as well so you can check my other videos from the 90s in there. 
and I'll see you in the next video.